A well-executed breakout is critical to team success. A well-executed investment plan is critical to financial success. Let me develop a plan with your goals in mind. John Moore for sportsandmore.com, Sposhik Bank Center in Halifax. D'Artin Jean Jolie of the Baker Motor Car joining me here. And uh, maybe we can talk about uh, your season. Here we are mid-January and you're one of the top scorers in the club. But tell me about uh, your season from your perspective. Yeah, I, I had a slow start this season, but uh, my teammates helped me and my coaches uh, helped me uh, get like better. And it's like a process and they worked on my details and uh, to get me where I am right now and I want to be the best as I can be as a hockey player at the end of the season. Can you point to reasons why you had the slow start? Can you, can you point to a couple of things and that's, that's why I had a slow start? I, I can't really like point to a couple of things. It's just like I had I needed like to be there with I talked with a coach and they tell me told me like what I have to work on and that's where I put my focus on and that's why my game got better. Okay, so here we are now in mid-January, and uh, as I mentioned, one of the top scorers on the team. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how you're feeling, how confident you are going into that second half. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Uh, I like I like the second half. They're always my my best uh, half season, and I'm pretty confident with Checo and uh, my teammates. They'll they're help me, helping me out pretty good, and so I'm pretty confident. This is your draft year. Draft eligible, you, you're well aware. Everybody's uh, got their eyes on you in the, on the ice. Uh, players approach that. Some feel the pressure, some don't. What about you? I don't think really about the draft. I, pl uh, I, more, I think more about my, myself and what uh, I can do to, to uh, be a better hockey player and uh, after the, the result's going to come. Be a better hockey player. So when you're at the top of your game and you're playing your A game, describe the player you are. I'm a player, like of offensive player. I can bring a lot of offensive to the team, and uh, I can. I have, a, I have a, my size helps me out a lot around the nets, and uh, I got good speed and good hands and a good vision that can help out my teammates and my team. Final question for you: um, Come draft day, NHL teams have done their homework. They've done interviews with you, and they think they know everything they need to know about you. What, what might they not know that they should know on draft day about you? Uh, it's a hard question to answer, but uh, I think I'm, I'm, all my life I've been like underrated a lot, and I've passed behind other players, but I've been working, and I've just always worked harder to, to get to the top, and uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just be where I, I will be when I... When it, the, the time comes. The, the, the biggest challenge with Dart is uh, the consistency. And at the beginning of this season, you know, he had only, uh, I think, uh, four points in the first 10 games. It's, it was really tough, but it was uh, all about uh, work ethic. So we started working with, uh, with Dart on his consistency, uh, not only in the game, but in the practice too. And uh, since uh, in the middle of October, he, he had a lot of points in, in his game, and now he's he's able to recognize the behavior when it's good on the work it takes and when it's bad. And you get the draft coming. You know, obviously, uh, I think he's a little, uh, not quite ranked quite as high as the line mate. Uh, but uh, is that is that accurate? Well, right now it's uh, for Dart. It's uh, it's a turning point. Uh, uh, some some teams. Uh, will decide if it's a long shot or if, or if it's a sure shot. So he has to, to uh, just to keep working on his consistency and I think we will be able to convince the team that it's a sure shot.